This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. As much as I love the Pathfinder's panel, and you know I do, there is a tool, it's not brand new, but it's relatively new, called the Shape Builder tool that accomplishes some of the stuff of the Pathfinder panel without maybe, I don't know, figuring out which button you have to click. So what I've got here is some of the stuff we used in the previous lesson. The pieces that made up the key, the church key, and the mask over here. I call this Evil Mickey Mask. Let's start by using the Shape Builder tool instead of the Pathfinder's panel to achieve the same thing that we did. Now, first thing you have to remember is you have to select what you want to do this to. So let's go ahead and select the church key. Let's come over here. And there it is. Now, if you don't see it, click and hold. It's with some other tools. Shape Builder Tool. If you want to unite things together, notice how they do this when you touch them, all you have to do is click and drag across them. So if I get right about here and click and drag here and here, it unites them together. And I got to get the right angle so I can get them all at the same time. And there we go. Now, I don't need this thing right here. So how do you get rid of something? Hold the Alt key down. And I don't want this either. So I'm going to hold Alt. And in other words, cut it out. Just cuts it right out. This needs to be attached to this, obviously. So let's go ahead and just drag across. And let's go ahead and drag down like this. And there you go. Without clicking one button on the Pathfinder's panel, you've made the church key. Now we can do the same thing with Evil Mickey. We come over here, make sure it's selected first. Basically, we come over here, just drag across the areas you want to put together. Drag across. Over here, I want to cut those out. Hold on the Alt key, click once there, and click once there, and you've made your mask. Same way we did with Pathfinders, except, well, actually, to be honest with you, it's a little bit easier. Let's do one more thing. Let's get rid of what we have. I'm going to do Control-A, Delete. Let's go ahead and pick up the, uh, the Ellipse tool and give me a nice big circle. Something like that. Sure, why not? Come over here and pick up your Rectangle tool and give me something like about that. Now, next step, I'm going to pick up my Direct Selection tool. I'm going to click on and select just the upper left-hand corner anchor point, and I'm going to use my arrow keys to pull it out. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to click on this one and do the same thing, pull it the other way with the right arrow. One, two, three, four, five. I can count. Let's pick up our selection tool. Let's put that bad boy up here, and I want it right in the center. But I'm going to put it right about, say, like that. That doesn't look too bad right there. Now, I want to make sure it's in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to go up here. We now have a button that says Align. And if you select it, we click right here just to make sure. And since I was using Smart Guides, actually, it's fine. OK, pick up your Rotate tool. And what I got to do is unselect everything and only select that uh, kind of like that piece. And I'm going to come out here, hold the Control key down, which is the shortcut to get back to the Selection tool unselect everything, and then control click on that. When I let go, I'm back into my rotate tool. Click down on the center. Now you can see it if you've got smart guides on. Hold down the Alt key though before you click. Now we need a number that's divisible by 360. So let's try, oh, let's try something like maybe 30. Now if I come over here and say preview, that's a little bit more than what I want. Let's try 20. Let's see what that does for us. That's not too bad. Let's leave it there. Click Copy. Now press Control D and run it around. There we go, right there. All right. Let's select everything and pick up our Shape Builder tool one more time. What I'm going to do is hold down the Alt key, which is Remove. I'm going to drag it across like that. So I'm making, I don't know, a wonky looking gear. And all you got to do is just move through them. That definitely is a wonky gear. Holding the Alt key down, 
watching them light up. And two more. There you go. We got a gear. Let's go ahead and select it. Move it a little bit over here. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Pull the Alki down, make a copy. Something like that, maybe. And we can start putting the gears together, all with the Shape Builder tool. On to the next.